with the Zeitgeist Movement for about a year. Um, a big part of the movement and or a way that we reach out to people is through activism and like food drives is what I've found to be the best way to do that. Um, so Gary helped me uh, with a, a, an event that we had in Raleigh uh, back in August and we're really glad that all you guys made it today. We do have free DVDs and pamphlets. We also have a sign-up sheet that if you don't mind giving us your information, we promise it won't be given away. Um, if you leave your phone number, I might call you guys just to talk and get some feedback about what you thought was helpful, what you would like to see at something like this in the future. So do please sign up and give me your email and your phone number. Um, we have a, we introduced ourselves earlier. Um, and so if it's okay with you guys, we'll just do that again and say what areas we're from. And, and so the, the idea is that you guys that have come today will be in touch with us, we'll join the group site, the NC um, Zeitgeist group site, and then we'll stay in touch and have conversations via this website about um, where we see the movement going. Um, we also have team speak meetings um, every other Monday night that Gary puts together. So if you have internet access, you can come and we can talk about that, just talk about things. We have meetings there. Um, so at this time, I think it might be a good idea for us to introduce ourselves, not just those of us that are more involved in the movement, but also you guys, because if this movement's going to work, you, we're all just as important as the next guy. So it's just really exciting that you guys are here. So if you want to just tell us your name and where you're from and maybe how you heard about this event, or what your level of exposure or involvement is with the Zeitgeist Movement, and then anything that you want to share. We're just going to kind of meet each other and um, go from there. So I'm Anna from Raleigh, and uh, I heard about the Zeitgeist Movement just through YouTubing videos um, about different things. I think a lot of us might have come to it in that way. And Gary kind of said to me, well, you know, if you really want to see this grow, then come back to this website and, and let's chat about it. So just kind of um, meeting Gary really got me into it. So hopefully we'll all meet today and you guys will stay involved. So would you like to start, Charlie? Uh, sure. My name is Charlie Morris and I am from Athens, Tennessee. And I found the Zeitgeist Movement just through, um, I guess, really Netflix. Um, but uh, I've always been like really, I wanted to do something. Because you know the, the whole system, it just feels so corrupt and just not good so it's been hours just you know working on these plans and then I sort of just fell into the zeitgeist movement by chance and it was just everything that I was trying to solve right there already laid out with plans so from Tennessee good I'm Nancy O'Dell I'm from Murphy North Carolina just all the way down on the little tail end there um, I got here because a friend got really into me to it so this is my introduction to it and um, and a lot of it is stuff that I've already believed over the years just all kind of put together and a nice package so it's, I think it's great I've been you know, hoping for something to rally around for a long time awesome my name is Josh I'm from Wilson North Carolina that's like 45 minutes east of Raleigh really uh, yeah, found it online. Just been watching stuff for years now. So. Cool. Oh, I'm Kimberly Morris. I'm from Athens, Tennessee. Um, and I came across uh, Zeitgeist on Netflix. And 
I knew instantly that, of course, Charlie, he talks all the time about money being so, it's like this paper just thrown away. It doesn't matter. It's, it's nonsense. And, and, um, and I'm, I'm, in, I'm a nurse, and as Charlie went, he went through nursing school, and as he went through nursing school, he kept just bringing up how silly everything seems just in the world, and just all the whole system. And um, as soon as I saw it, I knew he would love it and I love it so um, so we're here just to get more information so we, we want to take it back with us we want to we want it to come mostly just so we can bring as much back with us as we could so that people there will know more about a change because we do need a change it's, it's hard to it's hard to be in nursing also teach yoga it's hard to be anywhere and see all the need and not know what to do so we would really like to do something and this is a great point for us to uh, hi, I'm Nick, and uh, I'm, I live in Asheville. I'm from New York. Um, I'm, uh, in, I'm at heart a constitutionalist, and um, I've seen the Zeitgeist film, and my mind has blown several times over. And I watched the second one as well. Uh, and, uh, uh, my blowing experience again. And I'm very excited to be here. And uh, a close friend of mine told me about this event, so uh, that's why I'm here videotaping. He's doing a video for us. Yes. Yeah, well, why don't you say it real quick and then we'll go finish up. Yeah. Um, Let's just take a second. I'm uh, here recording this just uh, to promote the event and not to sell to anything. And this is just here to show, uh, I'm videotaping just to show what a success today has been and uh, to show other folks in the movement across the country. Um, about that, Gary could do as he wished with the footage. Um, and uh, some of you guys have filled out the release forms, but the folks who have not, could you please take the time to fill them out so that I can, and if you don't feel comfortable being recorded, just please tell me, that's totally cool. Um, but I'd like to have a little teaser for uh, Gary to show folks who can be continue. I don't think I'm in there, right? This game. <laughs> no, just oh no, this uh, this isn't recorded. Uh, no, I know that. Uh, <laughs> but, well, the camera's on right now. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, you guys signed it. No problem. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I need one. Emily has to. The awesome family from Tennessee. Well yes. said. Well said. My name is Matt. I'm from Charlotte. Um, I've been a part of the movement with the questions that started. Um, I served as coordinator for a while and then um, active in Charlotte off and on uh, since I recently moved uh, to the area. Um, but like Kimberly and Charlie, I'm a part, also a part of the medical field and uh, I see firsthand how. Um, how much we profit from disease as opposed to health. And I'll be talking a little bit about that later uh, in my talk. So. Spoiler alert, a little bit more Matt coming up soon. Hey, my name is Justin Gross, and it's great to be here. I uh, started doing research about a year ago. I think 9 11 got me started, and I watched Sight Guys maybe nine months ago. And it was Awesome. Thank you. Um, and I was wondering if you do like an open list as well. You said we're going to have a list if people are open to writing email, phone numbers, just be randomly contacted. Like I might just watch a new research film and randomly call you and say, hey, I want to check this out. It's going to be a good time to do this kind of thing. That's that's kind of the hope for the group side is that we is that we um, yeah. do make those contacts. Sure. Okay. So. Um, yeah, but that's great to be here because I feel like I have all the situation I want to talk about. I, I try to talk to people at work and they're just like. You know, I'm feeling very. <laughs> 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 You're not alone. You're not alone. Yeah, I learned about this actually from calling you. I talked to you about an hour and a half a few weeks ago. I appreciate that. We're good. I talk to people all the time. Who else? Um, my name is Ryan. I'm from Asheville, North Carolina. Uh, 25 years old. I think I first watched the first Side Guy film right when it came out, or a little bit after, when it started to go viral. Um, I just 
I think I found it when I was looking. I, I read a quote or something that was about how uh, much unhappiness money brings. And I think it's through different links I ended up finding these ideas. Uh, I've always really enjoyed it. Found it very uh, mind opening. And I've been trying to figure out a way to, uh, I guess, spread the information and stuff. And then I finally moved back here and I found out there was a gathering. So I'm happy to be here. Well, we need somebody in Asheville to get a chapter going down here. <laughs> I live up in the mountains out of the way and I'm busy with the state activities. So if you're interested, Yeah, um, my name is Shay. Uh, I was introduced by the Zach High School by my friend, right? Now. I'm also from Asheville. I'm pretty new to you know, the whole guys, guys movement, but uh, I think it's really interesting. Um, I think it uh, proposes a lot of good ideas that would help um, release people from you know, suffering from life. Um, really looking forward to learning more about it. Awesome. See, there you go. You got a chapter started right there. <laughs> I'm Ani. Uh, I live in Candler, which is right, right in this area. And uh, a friend of mine shared the YouTube video on Facebook, and I watched it and thought I should sign up, and then I didn't do much, and then I got this email, so I came today. I'm glad you did. get more active than it. There's something you want to do, you got to get more active than it. To me, not understanding anything really what's going on, other than the fact that they're trying to tell me what's going on with it. But in my closed mind, I thought I was hearing what they were saying, but wasn't really. We had some frustrating conversations at times, some heated conversations. And, uh, and, and of course, my daughter and my son just said, well, you know, you got to watch, you got to watch the other side guys. And it was actually three weeks ago, on a Sunday. Kids were sleeping in, my wife was at work, looked on Netflix and uh, thought I was watching the second one, but I actually watched the third and fourth one, the third movie. And uh, of course immediately got interested due to the fact there was a lot of research that was talking about psychology early on in the movies, and how our society is, and uh, I'll say it this way, when they started throwing that money out the end, uh, I had tears running down my eyes. <laughs> um, because I've been looking too. You got these ideas. I mean, I studied different religions and different trains of thoughts and spirituality, and uh, looking for that answer. And uh, with Venus Project and uh, the way the Zeitgeist movement put everything down, it just it's the answer. It is. And, and what told what, what I asked at that point was, why the heck isn't everybody doing this? <laughs> you know, I mean, really. I'm sure that's the way a lot of y'all feel about it. And of course. 
my excitement. I contacted friends and family members and things like that. And I let you know I got negative responses back. Same thing we're all talking about here. And, uh, but just like we talked about, it doesn't take that many people to get a revolution going. And I'm here, I wanna let you know that I'm gonna spread the word out. I'm certainly interested in trying to start a chapter in Charleston, South Carolina. Wonderful. Okay. That's basically what I'm here for, to see how we can do that. You have some good experience there because you understand why people tend to resist these ideas when they're first introduced <laughs> from first hand. So Absolutely. that's some great experience in sharing this. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Ryan, uh, okay, I've seen some of the addendum movie and really got me into all this thing. Uh, studied Appalachian State, country technology and sustainable development, and really want to make a positive change in this world because where we're heading now, I feel it's not right. And right now I'm working as an installer for a solar company, uh, utility scale. I'm glad to have you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, my name's Erin, and I've watched all three of the Zeitgeist films um, on Netflix. And people have been trying to tell me to watch them since, I guess, they came out in 2007 or the first one came out. I finally did it, and it was completely life-changing. I found that every place that I've ever worked, I've always gotten in trouble because I care too much for people. And finally, I work for Planned Parenthood. And for the most part, I can care as much as I want, but I sometimes still get in a little trouble there when I care too much. And people are supposed to care for me, and that's not really how our economy works. So I feel like this is definitely the right going on and I really want to be a part of it. And uh, my grandpa definitely thinks that I'm at a communist meeting. <laughs> <laughs> and it's I'd like to try to get my parents into it and I think it's amazing that they're into it back there because my dad, he listens to what I say but then he's kind of like, well, what about people who don't have anything and don't want to do anything to help in a resource-based community? And I'm like, you're not, you can't take your mind out of the monetary system. There's not going to be money in this. So they would be waking up and saying, hey, maybe I want to paint a picture today. But he can't take his mind out. So hopefully here I can learn how to talk to my parents about it a little bit more, as well as other people. And um, I've also found that spirit science, um, watching that with Zeitgeist, goes together very, very nice. well. Spirit very science. nice. Spirit science. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, check it out. It it's yeah. more you're, the spiritual side, Irish. you know. Huh? I bet you're Irish. Oh, well, <laughs> Happy St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> a little bit. Oh, I'm from Greensboro, so. Um, I got a little Irish, yes. Happy St. Like Patrick's Day. <laughs> <laughs> you want to jump back and grab Steve? You want to? Uh, Steve Gelter from Fletcher, uh, <clears throat> south of town. A little tiny burg halfway between here and Hendersonville. Uh, first, became aware of the zeitgeist completely by accident. Thumbing through the menu on Netflix and came across the zeitgeist, the movie, and I was intrigued by the name, didn't have a clue what it was about. But it wasn't about Adolf Hitler's mistress, and it wasn't about <laughs> bringing to life of Brontosaurus again, so I thought I'd take a look. And I was absolutely, after 60 seconds, just bowled over. Uh, the day after I saw this, I was supposed to go to work, which for me meant getting up at the crack of dawn, and the following day was a bad day, because the first movie led to the second movie led to the third movie, and before I knew it, it was 4 a.m., and it was time to start getting ready to go to work. Anyway. I just wanted to, to mention to you, today here, up to this point and continuing, of course, is a lot of information. The movies are a lot of information. One of the things that I have discovered after having seen all three for the first time is that it has helped me to clarify this tremendous load of information by seeing them again and again and again. Every time I sit down in front of the television and I watch the Zeitgeist series again, 
I get new information and I get new clarification on what I think I already have a good handle on. It is a filtering process and it is a learning process and as Gary said, it's complex. It is quite complex. The better you understand it, the better you're going to be able to communicate it to other people. I hate introductions. <laughs> I start blushing and everything. But um, okay, I'm Brianna, and I'm from High Point, North Carolina. And um, I first, I heard about Zeitgeist like over the years as it came out from various people, and it was like one of those things. I was like, I really need to see that, but then I, I did never take the time to. And then um, about a year ago. I watched the movies, and like he said, after I, I was getting really frustrated, I was taking notes the entire time, and some of it you already know anyway. But um, yeah, after I was just so moved, like I went outside and screamed to the top of my lungs and cried for about an hour. And I was like, what the hell are we going to do? Like, why do we keep like accepting everything around us when we know like it's evident like where it's leading if, if we don't change something? And then it's funny, like the the power of like I don't know, like just connections and stuff. Once you really start like spreading like you know your passions, you realize like how many other people are drawn to it. And I've just met so many beautiful people and uh, made some really great friendships, and that's pushed me into lots of other directions as far as you know other people that are out here like spreading awareness along the same lines, like. Um, you know, the Venus Project, I really like Jacques Frank, uh, Franco or whatever. Fresco. Oh, Fresco, yeah. yeah. Sorry, it's my nervousness. Um, but, uh, and I like James Franco, so I could have been combining the two. <laughs> Either way, um, yeah, so I'm just really trying to work on just becoming more knowledgeable myself about all of this and, and trying to find a way that I can become more of a, a leader and a mover in my community and, and with, you know, the people around me and, and helping bring that change. I just really want to break away from it all. I've kind of, some people are like, you're getting really extreme with it. I, I can't like, I feel like I can't even keep a job like at this point because it's like everything that I'm doing, I'm like, why am I doing this when I know like, I, you know, I would, yeah. if I could have something that I was really passionate about and fall into that, which isn't as easy, that I could feel good about the work I'm doing, then that would be different. But um, yeah, so I've just kind of been like doing little, you know, bartering jobs, like, hey, uh, if I clean your place or do this, can I make like 50 bucks for gas and food? <laughs> and um, I've looked into like communities like uh, Wolf and whatever, where they help, um, it's, you know, farmers and stuff that will um, basically allow you to come to, to their houses and um, they'll teach you, you know, um, just trades that they have as far as learning to grow more and, you know, if they have livestock, all the stuff to go with that. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm looking to do that and sell my car in the next month and just start checking it out and trying to, to do something. I just have to find a focus, which I'm really bad. <laughs> like, I get really distracted. So I'm like, okay, this is really overwhelming. How do I go about it? I'm hoping to, to get better adjusted to that. But yeah. <laughs> I think people need to keep in mind that this is not something that's going to happen overnight. No, and it's not, and that's frustrating. I've seen a lot of people become involved in the Zeitgeist movement, thinking within six months or a year they're going to see the Venus Project start to happen globally, and it doesn't. It's not going to that. Right. That's not what's going to happen here. We we're in it for the long run, and we're going to have to talk to a lot of different people and share these ideas very, very broadly before we're going to make any difference. So. Absolutely, and I feel like too, like so I, like just being like a young adult and like. Um, talking about this with, with some of the older people in my life, like family or, you know, whoever. They're just like, it's just part of your 20s, you know, that that's the world, it is how it is. And it's like, no, it's not. And I can't see myself at this point, everything that I've learned, like from the movie, the movie and everything else, um, really like going back, like you said, like this is, I, I don't care if I don't see it in my lifetime, but I want to make sure that that I dedicate myself entirely to it, like from this point forward for as long as I'm granted, like the, the joy of life here, so, <laughs> yeah. I have to say that when I first became involved in the movement, 
I kind of, you know, I'm pretty old. <laughs> and I became kind of terrified that I wasn't going to have a chance to share this with other people yeah. before I died. <coughs> so that's been one of the things that's kind of driven me. Yeah. Oh, Thank you. <laughs> I'm good at that. <laughs> uh, my name is Cornelius McDougall. I'm from Charleston. I'm here with my girlfriend and her family. I was a uh, been a follower since the first movie, and uh, it's actually the scary part of the movie that got me into. It was the religious part. <laughs> it was right around the age I was questioning God and everything like that. But uh, I've been into like I said this project since it all came out and I'd really like to see that happen in my lifetime to get in support. It's possible. Yeah. Um, I'm Tanza, I'm from Charleston as well, and I watched the movies probably like two like a year and a half ago or so. And really I'm just here to see other people because I haven't seen anybody in our area that Part of the problem is people don't realize that this is totally a voluntary thing. This is totally a voluntary movement. Anything that happens is only because somebody, nobody's going to tell you what to do. You have to say, okay, well, this needs to be done. And you have to step and you have to do it. That's the only way it's going to happen. So, you know, in terms of sharing these ideas in an in a organized fashion through something like the Zeitgeist Movement, you, the opportunities are just as many as you're willing to put yourself into. Now, if you look at it and want to step up, there's there. It's there. That's all there is to it. Uh, my name is Will. I'm from Nightdale, the other side of Raleigh. Um, I watched. Well, I, I was getting into Netflix when I first started about two and a half years ago and watching documentaries. And I was watching so many documentaries that a friend of mine actually burned some documentaries that he had on on his computer and gave them to me. And he labeled two of them Zeitgeist. And so eventually I just picked one at random and threw it in and it happened to be Addendum. And the huge difference that I saw between Zeitgeist Addendum and all these other documentaries that I was watching is that these other documentaries, a lot of them have great ideas of how to change little parts of the system, but nobody had any ideas on even what the root problems are. Why is this such a screwed up system? And so I watched Addendum and he not only clarified like the actual root cause, which to me are, are two things. It's the economy and education, which is kind of cyclical. Um, you know, bad education reinforces this anti-economy, which reinforces the bad education, which reinforces the anti-economy. And that seems to be the two basic root problems. And we can't just flip a switch and change the economy, but you can flip a switch in yourself and decide to become educated and educate other people. But all of this was so confusing and just overwhelming and depressing and miserable that I, uh, of course, made all my friends watch it so they could share in my misery. <laughs> <laughs> and then just kind of just sat around for like two years, just very introspective, wondering what the hell I could do because I don't have any particular skills. I am not motivated by money and haven't, I haven't had a real actual job since 2006. Um, but I have a mom, she lets me live with her, she likes me living with her, don't have to pay bills, and my best friend lets me work in a store, and between them they take care of me. So what I do have is a lot of time to research this stuff, and what I started realizing from my research is that the Zeitgeist Movement advocates a whole systems approach, where every little part of it matters. and. Instead of that being overwhelming like I thought it would be at first, it was kind of liberating because it means that whatever you do personally, whatever your skill is, it can some way be valuable to here, here. all of the movement. And so recently I've started getting into activism where my only skill really is time and the lack of the pressure to pay bills right now. So. Um, I'm using that to try and spread awareness. I'm burning the Zeitgeist DVDs and giving them away. Um, just 
try and find whatever information. I'm going to try and get in touch with other documentaries and see if I can work out something with them where I can give away their DVDs for free. Um, say I buy however many of them or whatever. But, uh, you know, it's just, they're just seeds of ideas, but you can go in any direction that your personal strengths take you. And you can still be helpful to them. I'm sorry, friend, I didn't hear your name back here. William. William Taylor. William. Or Will. Or Will. Will, I, I have to take exception to a statement that you made that you have no particular skill. Friend, you can speak. <laughs> you are a good speaker. <laughs> Uh, and I wanted to add, he's a great learner, too, you know, he's <laughs> one of the smartest friends I've had. I've known him since the third grade, you know, and, and he's, he's like a sponge, you know. Let me rephrase, I have no particular skill that is of interest to the corporations <laughs> yeah, right, to popularize right. what skills you're supposed to be good at. I take it all back! <laughs> <laughs> and that's something about communication. You have to yeah. think about how you phrase things and think about where other people are coming from. And that's another place, the video is on the Zeitgeist official channel on YouTube. Uh, there are several of them that will tell you how to communicate with people, or get, not tell you how, because it's not about force, but they'll give you ideas of how you can modify your communication. Utilize what you have yeah. to make the communication. Yes. Thank you. All right, I'm Vic Davis. I get to follow him, which is great. Uh, <laughs> I guess I should have started this way. Uh, but I watched the Zach Geis uh, uh, addendum, I guess, two years ago with him. Yeah, he's the first one I made watch it. <laughs> uh, I mean, and it just really opened my eyes uh, and, and woke up a part of me. I had spent quite a bit of time that we were trying to discuss yesterday, working seven days a week with like full-time job in a flea market business, chasing down whatever this dream is or whatever, and just to have the rug pulled out from under you and, and you don't have anything, you know, but your best friend in a, in a Zeitgeist video, you know, which, uh, you know, the, the change that, um, that occurred afterwards, you know, like the, the motivation to go and get another job definitely wasn't there anymore. like so I've just done the, the weekend thing since 2010 haven't gone to seek anything else out and uh, because I, I can't I don't feel like like you were mentioned earlier like looking for a job that you can actually maintain because like what do you really want to go do like who you go out there and you serve someone else's you know selfish needs you know, so like your boss can drive his Mercedes or whatever, right. and it's like, what, you know, our value system's so distorted that it just, I, it's disagreeable, it's so disagreeable to me, and uh, so I'm glad to be here today, you know, with my friend and with all you guys, like new friends to me, uh, <laughs> and, uh, you know, to share these ideas and, and to hope we can make some kind of small difference, you know, like I, I feel like the difference can be made, you know, and I, I've sometimes I feel like I've been putting too much pressure on myself to try to make that difference happen or whatever, and you can't do it by yourself, and you, you fall flat on your face, and it's like, man, what do you what do you do now, you know, because you go out there in the world right now, outside of this room, and everybody's on that same thing, you know, and, and you don't want to support it anymore, we can't keep supporting it anymore, and the more we do, the more detrimental it is, so the I feel like my withdrawal from it has been good for me for my growth, you know, but maybe not the best for me, uh, my, my well-being in this current system and society. So, um, anyway, that's about all I got right now. Um, <laughs> glad, glad I could share. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. We'll just go this way and then we'll come back and get you guys. Uh, my name is Greg. I live in Murphy, North Carolina. I'm from Michigan. And uh, I just recently found out about the Zeitgeist movement. It's only been maybe three or four months ago. Um, in the process of, of watching documentaries on, online, which I do have been doing incessantly for the longest time. I just I don't watch regular television, don't even have one. I watch so documentaries and stuff online. And I came across the Zeitgeist stuff, and it was the first thing uh, that it just resonated, it clicked, and I thought, son of a gun. This, it's like, it's like that analogy of being the fish in water, aware of everything around you except the water. You know? mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, you become aware of something that's just 
just permeating your whole life that you never even acknowledged or never really understood. You know it's there, but you never really understood. And uh, the films have clarified some some things profoundly to me. And uh, it really helped me, you know, it gives you a sense of, oh my God, how are we ever going to overcome this? But at least, at least you understand it. <laughs> that's a start. That's a start. Anyway, so that's why I'm here. I was really pleased to see online that this was going on, that I could come here and be involved. I'll stand up, I guess. Am I uh, being projected upon? <laughs> That's all right, I'm used to it. You know, if it's not antiquated <laughs> notions, it's photons, right, from a projector. Uh, my name is John Yotis. I'm uh, a part of the Zeitgeist movement called LTI, or Linguistic Team International. Um, our team, thank you, Gary. Our team is making an effort to translate all of this information into various different languages so that anyone on the world, in the world, excuse me, can go on YouTube and watch this and have it subtitled in their language. Um, does, let, me, let me just ask, does, does anybody here speak a second language? I take it all of you are speaking English as a first language. Okay, we have someone in the back. What language do you speak? Japanese. Okay, interesting, very good. Um, any information here, like a, like URLs and stuff about the forum that we have and all the websites that we have. But um, if any of you are interested in um, volunteering, uh, you can come to me and I'll give you my Skype and my Facebook. So does does anyone here not know about Skype or Ubu or the little video screen on your Facebook chat that lets you video chat? Does, does everybody know that we can pretty much video chat for free now? Is Are we aware of this? Yeah, on Facebook, uh, you know how you like send a message to someone in the corner? There's a little video screen there. There's like a little picture of a video camera. It's like a little icon. You click on that, and if you have a webcam, if they have a webcam, um, hopefully you've both installed the plugin or whatever you need. Um, Sometimes you don't want people to see you. Video chat is probably my favorite <laughs> get up in the morning, modern my technology. Oh, yeah. Because um, a lot of it is free. I mean, it's, it's easy to go on. I mean, I actually, I pay a little bit. It's like a, a couple of dollars a month for a Skype premium. Um, but yeah, I, I don't really have much to say. It's actually very simple. I, I basically explained it. That's it in a nutshell. Um, if anyone's interested, just get in touch with me. Thank you. Yeah, uh, my name is Wolfgang Arndt, I live in Marseille, and I have been checking out the mysteries of life a whole lifetime. You know, I studied yoga in India, I got into mystical yoga, you know, talking to the upstairs, and I checked out the whole conspiracy scene, you know, everything, you know, and I, I love the Zeitgeist movies, they are basically, um, you know, compact, wonderfully produced message, you know, here, you know, look at that, you know, and you spend arguing with you for hours, you know, here it's all together, you know, authorities, you know, everything is right there, and it's cutting edge, and so it, it's, it's wonderful um, to free uh, people's uh, minds. You know, personally, I'm, I'm involved in the, kind of, you could say, ascension movements, you know, where uh, there's a lot of light coming in, you know, and a lot of people are waking up to their higher spirituality, getting out of the rat race. You know, this is basically what this is all about, explaining the hamster wheel of your own movement, right? And, um, yeah, the system doesn't, it's not going to go on that much longer, it seems like, you know, it's pretty obvious. Um, it has to change, and uh, so I just, uh, I came too late here, but... <laughs> Um, you know, I just came to see, you know, who is involved here, you know, what you guys do in life. Like, this must be cool people, you know, open-minded, <laughs> you know, not, uh, you know, um, people with the blinders on, you know. Um, I mean, the, the real big blower here on this is, of course, the, you know, busting the whole religious paradigm, you know. And, of course, it's already in the, in the media, you know, uh, you know, all the bad stuff that, um, Vatican is doing, you know, they're banking things, and I mean, 
like YouTube and, and the whole communications media that are not controlled by the mass media anymore are the way to liberate the minds of people and that will lead to peaceful revolution. You know, I mean, with violence, uh, not a good idea, you know. Uh, they love that. <laughs> you know, they're expert at that. I mean, you know, it, it's not really humans wanting the violence, you know. They have brought it into it, you know, for so many years thousands of years, uh, but that's the mystical side to it, you know, uh, and I studied that in depth too, so, uh, yeah, expanding the minds, you know, and this is the ammunition, you know, for most people uh, to do that, you know, and then you can take it from there, you know, um, grow your own food, you know, open your heart, learn how to love properly, you know, develop proper relationship, you know, with animals, with plants, basically would be enough the corporate system, you know, which is predatory, you know, I mean, uh, I, I, you, I do past life regressions and, you know, I put people into hypnosis, you know, because there you really get into the mind, you know, your potential, I mean, we have been like dumped down like dogs, you know, we have wonderful potential, you know, and, I mean, especially when you know native people, you know, they're still very much connected with that. And so I, I took people into the future, you know, to see what's going to happen, and there are just possible futures. But, you know, one thing that really stuck with me was um, people will see what a, excuse me, predatory um, organizations, corporations, and they will also learn what are good corporations. They will know the difference, you know, and that comes through these kind of things. And uh, then they can give their support to the good corporation and withdraw their support from the predatory corporations. You know, that starts, you know, if this is an asshole bank, you know, oh, screw you, I'm going to take my money off and then go to a, a small local bank where I know them, you know, mom and pop store kind of thing. You know, I mean, you know, we can all do the choices, you know, we can uh, buy, um, give business to predatory corporations nice corporations, you know, that uh, give a certain percentage invested into green products, etc., etc. Or just uh, your minds are very, very powerful. Um, you, you look at mass media, you know, as soon as the mass media jumped onto Britney Spears, for instance, you know, yeah, I mean, she fell apart, you know, I mean, it's just powerful, you know, or Michael Jackson, you know, I mean, if Michael Jackson is like somebody, you know, he didn't have a childhood, he got stuck in childhood because, you know, he was abused there, you know, I mean, going to show business, he was stuck there, he was a little boy, you know, with lots of money, you know, and they made fun of him, and boom, you know, he died, you know, I mean, it's like, so mass mind is very, very powerful, very, very powerful, you know, and just if when you, um, you know, see something that is wrong, just, you know, pray to the higher powers to change that, you know, and that will change it. And just your desire, you know, to to change them for the better, for harmony. We may not even know what it is. I mean, I personally always ask that everything I do is for the highest good, divine harmony, with the most benevolent audience, you know, because I don't know what's the best, <laughs> you know. But that's what I'm for, <laughs> you know. And then let them figure it out, you know. I mean, I'm stuck in the human body here, you know. We have very limited perceptions. So, uh, yeah, that's <laughs> what I do, you know. Okay, was there anybody else? My name is Neil, a friend of mine named Sarah, who is in the survival and thrival group, told me about this meeting today, and I just came to learn what I could. I don't know anything <coughs> about site dust. Welcome. You know something now. You know something now. Yes. Um, my name is Sean. Um, I guess my journey to get here is, you know, that's a long story, but basically in the last year or so, a few years, I've been looking into like permaculture and sustainable agriculture and, and just, just trying to get into an idea of, okay, how did we used to feed ourselves, you know, Weston A. Price and you know, these different organizations that look at like you know traditional foods and stuff, and um, you know it just it led me 
to this whole idea that well, why why are we being stopped to you know the farmers market being stopped to sell you know basic foods when we could mass produce you know chickens on a large scale and shove them in a little room and shove them up with antibiotics and all this egregious things and that's okay but you know so this kind of just all led me to um, you know look at different documentaries and, and whatnot and uh, basically two weeks ago I you know couldn't sleep woke up like three in the morning and I was like looked through Netflix and uh, saw the second Zygos and didn't know anything about it and uh, oh this might put me to sleep so turned it on and uh, I, I watched all three movies I was like oh crap this is just like makes a lot of sense you know it's it's it's, it's a lot of the ideas that I've been thinking about and. And I'm just kind of curious to see uh, what kind of people showed up, and maybe that is all I had to say. And what do you think? Just, yeah. Are we okay? Yeah. I'm Justine. I'm here with Sean. Um, yeah, so we just learned about it what, a couple weeks ago, and then we found out that you guys were having a good thing today. So. Did you make me stay up and watch these movies with him? He had it on like three days straight. I was the uh, person that, like, now I feel better, but I'm not the only one who was like completely depressed and overwhelmed by the entire thing. So I was like, we just turned it off because I like, couldn't handle it. But, you know, I'm just starting to try and figure out, like, how it applies to me and, like, where my place would be in it. Because I'm like a nurse. See you and later. It's, okay. Like, work is a big part of my life that I enjoy and trying to, like, figure out how to fit that in. Well, that might be a good lead into Matt. Yeah. yeah, that is a great yeah. segue. Matt is going to do a presentation now. Well. Is there anybody else that would like to introduce themselves? We're just kind of talking about what brought us here and our exposure to the Zeitgeist movement. Sort of like Money Money uh, Alex Anonymous. Uh, <laughs> uh, under sustainability on Meetup, uh, the internet uh, deal about this group. Uh, we don't know anything about it. Interested in sustainability, anything humanitarian, stop them, just learning. Awesome. Welcome. Thank you. Would you like to say hi? Um, sure. My name is Reed. Um, I'm from Gastonia, and kind of like him, I'm all about gaining knowledge. Um, I truly believe in empowering positivity, compassion, and spreading that to other people. Awesome. We have DVDs that we would love everyone to take one or take a few if you want to pass them out. We also have pamphlets in abundance. You see like maybe 30 there. We have about 300. So if everybody leaves with a stack of those, we've done a great thing today and you can give those to somebody. Definitely talk to one of us if you guys want to take materials. We're not breaking or anything. I just wanted to say do give us your email, your name on the sign up sheet. And if you're comfortable hearing, uh, receiving a phone call from me where I'll talk more about future events and get you guys feedback on what that might look like, you can leave your phone number. So, glad you guys are here. I'm going to run a short video here, and uh, as soon as this is about 10 minutes, as soon as this is over, I'll give everybody time to go to the bathroom, whatever you need to do real quick, and as soon as this is over, Matt's going to do his presentation, then we'll probably have to start wrapping it up, and we have to be out here by 5, so. And you guys can come on down, there's... In one word, how would you describe today? Successful. Well, I think this is very encouraging. It was great. Uh, we had a big turnout. I didn't know when I started this whether we'd have anybody show up. So it was uh, wonderful to have a lot of people here that have really already made contact with this idea and uh, begun to uh, develop it on their own and wanted to find out more so they showed up here and they shared their ideas and, and asked their questions and that's what this was all about so it's wonderful. I would say that it was inspiring. There was a great turnout and everyone was really excited and glad to be here so I think there was some good relationships and connections made and I think that people that are here today want to stick with them. So it was really inspiring. Progressive. And are you surprised or impressed about the turnout of the crowd? I didn't know what to expect. I thought we might get this big a crowd, but uh, I wasn't expecting it necessarily. I kind of thought, I guess, maybe we'd have about as half as many as we got. So, it's wonderful. As a matter of fact, it's been a better level of enthusiasm among the people who have come here today and many who have just walked in off the street, not even realizing 
what the zeitgeist movement was, having not experienced even the exchange of the name before, have stayed and gathered information, and they will leave richer for it today. Um, I thought it was very good. I, I'm originally from Long Island. I'm not from North Carolina, so it was very nice to meet a lot of new people. Um, this is my first Z-Day event in this area, so I really have nothing to compare it to. But um, I would say it was fantastic. I, I really hope that um, next year will be, I, I'd like to see double the amount of people.